Nickelodeon, Disney, and Star Wars characters fill the room, but one piñata stands alone. Donald Trump gets singled out for all to see at Jack's Wholesale Candy and Toy Company in downtown LA's Piñata District. Earner Minaz Ahmed says the Trump piñata made its first appearance in Jack's when customers requested it after the presidential candidate took a controversial stand on immigration. Angelinos like Maria Reyes think Trump's views are absurd and use these piñatas as a form of protest to show he shouldn't be president. I think about he's very wrong. He don't know what he's doing or saying to get people following him. The people is making fun of him and think that he is okay, but it's only to maybe, maybe feel him to feel good, but it's not really good. While most piñatas are now used for times of celebration, these Trump impersonations serve a different purpose. There are a lot of people who come in as supporters and want to have a Donald Trump piñata to, to be a, a surprise guest at their party. And some people, of course, just want to buy it so they can uh, take out any anger and frustration they may have against him. Other Trump's remarks about Latinos didn't hurt his image in the eyes of the public polls too much. Getting hit with these types of polls would definitely hurt this guy's image. As the race for the GOP nomination continues, so do the amount of sales for pinatas like this at Jack's. As long as he's still in the race, uh, people are going to be asking for him yeah, when he's in the public eye. Uh, I guess that uh, leaves him open to public beatings as well. Jax has sold hundreds of these pinatas and increased the number they order weekly from 10 to more than 20. And while these figurines are a sign of social change for some Latinos, others see it as pure enjoyment. I don't think it's a cultural thing. I just think that it's basically all the stuff that he said and, and somebody decided to make some piñatas and there they are. For me, it's, I just think it's funny. It's out of uh, humor. It's, I don't think it's um, wrong with anything. I mean, it's just humor. Each piñata of the billionaire costs $30, more than twice the cost of every other piñata in the store. Jack's employees joke that it's even expensive to hit the guy. Connor McGlynn, ATVN.